Laura here from Hedgehog's Homestead. Just thought I'd show you what I was doing. Um, it is bean and pea season in our area to get in the ground. I'm going to get them in the ground tomorrow, but first I'm going to soak them overnight. Now, you don't have to soak your beans and your your peas overnight. It's um, The only reason why um, I'm doing this is because in our area, we have like days where it rains really heavy and then it you know, stays dry for about a week, which I love. I mean, most of the things in the garden grow really well. Plus some of these seeds are pretty old. So, um, like my, my black um, turtle um, bush beans, and then um, my sp stringless beans, um, some of these beans um, are pole beans and some of them are bush beans. Now the difference between the pole bean and the bush bean, um, and then we have the sugar pea over here. The difference between the pole bean and the bush bean is the bush bean will grow for, to be about maybe a foot to a foot and a half tall and that's it. Um, the pole bean will grow, let's see what it says on this one. doesn't say. Well, that's kind of silly. I think it grows about six foot high or more. Um, so you really need a pole. I'm going to grow these on my trellis instead of growing um, a lot of melons and stuff this year. I am going to start the melons, but the nice thing about growing pole beans and stuff first. Now, if you look at the um, dates on these, um, these just garden... Um, uh, burpees, um, stringless pole beans, um, they are a 50 day, um, in the ground to harvest. Okay. Now that, that always means from when it's in the ground to harvest, not when you started it inside, you want to kind of, most people, you want to start beans outside anyways. Um, my, um, Sugar peas, which I don't know if they'll grow very well here. They're from Oregon. They grow very well in Oregon, um, but we don't know if they'll grow very well here. Um, I think if I give them the right food and the right stuff, I, you can pretty much get anything to grow, but how well it will grow, will it thrive in our area? Who knows? Um, so um, the sugar peas I'm soaking too because they are at least a couple years old. Um, I'm soaking everything. Um, this variety, a couple years old. This is a partial pole. So you would put this on a, a partial or a shorter trellis and it would be fine. Um, this is a bush bean. Um, and so had these for about three years, so it's good to soak those. Um, these bush beans, I love the Blue Lake bush beans, grew them in Oregon. Hopefully they'll grow really well here for us. Plus I wanna put them in an area of our garden that <clears throat> um, that is newly developed. Um, so it will help amend our soil as we're growing food. Isn't that great? And then um, I have this other bush bean, which is a, a top crop bush bean. Um, so and I only have like two packages of that. So we're just gonna go ahead and soak these overnight. I've always had a lot of success with that and then we'll get them in the ground tomorrow. So I just thought I'd share this with you. Um, I think I'm gonna do two rounds. How much, how long, let's see. These were, they don't say how long they take to harvest. I'll have to look that up for Oregon sugar uh, pods. Um, <clears throat> those those are climbing variety though too. So I don't uh, most most peas are climbing. Um, I might go ahead and put those out, but definitely want to get these beans in. Um, lots of bush beans to put in the ground, so I don't have to do trellises. But the ones I have to do trellises for, we'll put on our arches. Another reason why we also want to grow uh, that many beans is we are out of beans in the pantry. Totally out. So we need to can some beans. So here is my asparagus seedlings. Aren't they great? Look at that, guys. Isn't that awesome? 
These are the Mary Washingtons, and I got to make a new bed for that. Still working on, yes, getting these together. And I do have to show you guys something. I have heard that you could add worm castings to your seedlings. Now, um, I don't know if I put in too much or what, but I'm kind of discouraged because I'll show you what happened to them. That is what happened to my seedlings. Some of them are okay, but some of them are in really bad shape. And I will never add worm castings again to my soil for growing seedlings. I just won't do it. I'm gonna go back to the way that I did it. That was an experiment I could afford to try because I had so many seedlings this year. So please don't do it unless you are really in a place where you have lots of seedlings. Thank you for watching. You guys have a great and wonderful day and God bless.